glad to have you here. My name is Don, and this is Adventures This Way, where we are all about the power sports world, riding, maintenance, and repairs. Right now, we are talking about repairs. The Player Sportsman 850 right there behind me, it's got a few things torn out of it. But do not dismay, it's just about ready to get put back together. So I want to take a second, if you find value in the content, consider subscribing so that you do not miss anything. I'd appreciate your support. So let's talk about the reason why my Polaris ATV is in need of repair. I want to share with you one of the most important things as a Polaris ATV owner that you need to check on a regular basis. It will save you a lot of heartache. What we're talking about here is some easy maintenance checks that you should be doing. Even if you're a casual rider that doesn't really go off the trail or doesn't get anything into anything very extreme, this is something that you should do as part of your regular checks. All right, just before I dive into the main meat of what I want to talk to you about, I'm always running into problems with taking the stupid push pins out of the uh, plastics. And this applies to ATVs, UTVs, pretty much any anything out there. I ordered this kit off of Amazon the other day. It comes with like 100 push pins. And let me tell you, the tool it comes with it, it friggin' works amazing. Game changer. But I would highly recommend you get yourself one. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, here it is. This is what you need to inspect regularly and check on your Polaris ATV. It's this guy right here. This is a bearing. This is a roller bearing. There's hundreds of thousands of them in machinery all over the world. This bearing here belongs on this here pinion gear. That's this thing right here. This is your prop shaft. You have a front prop shaft and a rear prop shaft. They each split off of the transmission, one to the rear, one to the front. Now, some of this may seem a little basic to some of you more advanced people out there, but there are so many people that are on forums on Facebook that are brand new to ATVing, they have no idea. So I thought I would explain this in a little more layman's terms so that everyone understands. With the Polaris, every time the back wheels are turning, this is turning. So these U-joints, one here, this one I've already got taken out, you need to inspect these. And the biggest challenge is these are non-serviceable, which is fine. If you do not go off the trail, you don't get in full of water and mud, they're going to last a lot longer. I would highly recommend that you check these for play. And it's an easy maintenance to do when you're changing all your fluids anytime. And there's actually, uh, this is the wrong one. There's a grease fitting on this back one that you're supposed to grease regularly as well. So what can happen here is stuff like this. What happened to me, these U-joints got worn out. I may have pushed it a little too hard and but I didn't inspect these these get wobbly and then what happens here when this gets wobbly this gets wobbly wears out your pinion bearing bang you got damage damage to your front differential you want to avoid that at all costs this bearing is an easy maintenance item to be changed even if you can't do it yourself it's something that can easily be done at a shop for a minimal cost the cost of a bearing and cost of changing u-joints is very minimal to having more damage done to your differential. Inspect your prop shafts, inspect the u-joints, keep everything greased. Keeping things lubed is always a good thing. It's some simple maintenance that'll help avoid some costly repairs. How do I know this is because this is what happened to me. Damage. I'm just waiting on one more part and I'll have the Player Sportsman 850 back up and running back into beast mode again soon. Special thanks to a new buddy of mine. His name is Taryn Wilson. He goes by 306 Wilson on Instagram. He's recently started his own company. He's out in Saskatchewan, Saskatoon. I'd have to look that up. It's called Monsters of the North. And if you're an ATV enthusiast, and I hope you are because you're watching this video, you probably know who Oster Cruiser is. Taryn had a spot in one of Oster Cruiser's videos, and he was showcasing his two ATVs he has. He has so that is my tip for today. That Every Polaris owner needs to go and inspect that. It'll save you some heartache. Make sure you check back for more maintenance videos. I have a whole bunch on the way. As always, there will be more and more riding videos once I get this thing back up and running. Do me a favor. Check out this playlist of some of my favorite rides right here. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.